what is fitness in general? For me, fitness means you have the capacity to run, the capacity to lift weights, the capacity to lift your own body weight, um, and the capacity to go out and play new sports. You can become the master of one skill, and I've seen that with endurance athletes I've worked with, and I've seen it with strength athletes I've worked with. As soon as they get too specific in one area, they actually take themselves away from general fitness. And with general fitness comes better body composition, comes better and healthier bloods, and also more of a social feel to your training. So when it comes to lifting and strength training, we want to build our foundation, we want to build our, mo our mobility through the hips, build our mobility through the ankles and knees and thoracic spine, and then just get stronger. Strong is a relative term. You don't have to be the heaviest or strongest or biggest lifter in the gym, but learning to be progressively strong is going to improve bone density, it's going to improve body composition, it's going to increase muscle tone, it's going to improve muscle shape, it's going to improve your blood, it's going to improve hormonal function, and it's going to help you live longer. And that is a fact, and the research is there to back that up. So bringing in your deadlifting, bringing in your squatting, and bringing in your, your pulling and your chin-ups, and progressing on these in a small, steady manner, it's going to bring that longevity to your fitness and health and well-being. So common errors with the squat is the feet are either going too wide or too narrow. You can be in whatever stance you want to be in, but for the best efficient position, we want our feet just outside the width of our, of our hips. Straight away, a little assessment I'll give to myself and others is to look at the toes. If you see the toes all clunked up on top of each other versus spread out and wide, that's an area that we can improve on and how you move and again, improving that ankle range of motion. So modern footwear has get led to these toes that end up getting bunged up on top of each other and, and turned over on top of each other. Our toes should be like our fingers. They should spread out on the floor and grip the floor. So I encourage barefoot training when at home and when it's hygienically smart to do so. So you want to try and get your toes split. And this is something I'm constantly working on with toe spacers and with my own mobility around my ankles and feet. Our feet are going to be out just outside hip width. And then as we talk about the squat, the big thing we want to see is that the knees stay over the toes, not knocking inwards. We can look straight ahead and we're going to bring our body down below parallel and stand back up opening the hips. So once we do that and we get that full depth, which is just down here below parallel and stand up, we're recruiting everything from the bum, the core, the hips, right down across the knees and ankles. And it's a great way to get everything moving. Okay, so that's a squat and it's a foundational movement. And it's one thing that if you just practice your squat every day, you're gonna improve how everything moves. So we're gonna progress straight on into a back squat for today. Uh, back squatting, same, same principle. Once you've got yourself set up, Bar is going to sit high in the traps, shoulders back, chest out. So as well as lifting something heavy, I like to lift something fast. So an explosive movement, I like to use a power clean, which is effectively jumping a weight off the floor, catching it up on your shoulders. Um, you're going to need to have strength, but also power and speed for this. So we're training all different energy systems. So strength training is essential in every aspect of life, in, from a hormone point of view to holding onto muscle and preventing muscle loss, and both increasing joint range of motion and joint stability. Yeah. 